I'm not going to do my intro on this because it's not about that. I'm not going to be jumping around and, you know, a lot of excitement because what I'm about to react to is, of course, Michael J. Fox. Someone that I truly admire, someone I've been following for decades now, someone to me is one of the greatest human beings on earth. He's he has done so much for that terrible disease that he's battling that over the last few decades he showed that if you can stay focused if you can stay driven you can overcome whatever disease you believe is meant to take you out or bring your hopes down he is proof that you can keep moving forward and understand that because you have this disease, whatever disease it may be, it doesn't mean your life has to stop. And this is going to be hard for me to watch because as you can, you know, everyone knows that over time it's going to eventually take its toll on Michael J. Fox like it has done a lot of people. And if a cure is not in his near future then of course it's gonna eventually like it's gonna get worse and that's that's gonna be hard for me because like I said I love Michael J. Fox huge fan huge fan and he's been dealing with this for a, for a while now for almost a little bit over 30 years I believe now and He's just a great human being. So I'm about to check this out. It's only, you know, two minutes long. I don't think I can watch a lot if it was longer because it's, it's just hard for me to see him like that. I heard he's like you can barely understand him now. You have to really, really listen to him talk. And that, But I'm just going to jump right into it, y'all, and see what's this all about. Still looks good. He looks damn good. All right, Michael. You saved my life in the kindest that it's allowing them people to be who they are. Being, um, being comfortable with being who I am. Only one doesn't compromise the other. People can be who they are, and they are who I am. It's very difficult. But we, if we meet at that common ground of kindness, you're going to do the other guy. In a nice way, and it'll be the same for you. Um, so that's all about. Over the past 40 years, Michael J. Fox has proven to be an iconic actor, author, and advocate. Michael opened up to people about how challenging the last couple of years have been and how he's been able to maintain his trademark optimism through it all. Yeah, life is interesting. It deals with these things. Same thing in my book that, that, that I really like, if I can say that, because I was happy when I stumbled upon it, which is um, with gratitude, optimism is sustainable. And, and it just hit me. That's it. If I find gratitude, whatever I do, whatever, I, whatever situation, I find one little thing to be grateful for. You know, that's what gets to me, like, his optimism, how is it so sustainable? Like, how is he keeping that, that, like, strong positive mind frame on things like when he's going through one of the worst diseases that you can have like it's that's why i say he's a very strong individual yeah he's five feet three but to me he's seven feet if y'all understand what i mean by that this man has dealt with a lot and like i said look at him still fighting and looks damn good damn good Reverse this whole situation and allows the possibility of, of grace. Something fantastic happening. So I'm just at that place of being in that again. So it's really nice. I went through a stretch period where, um, a period of time where, uh, and, and I held a grudge about it, but it's clear that the world was going to have to kick my ass. And I went through a lot of stuff, and mm -hmm. I came out the other side of it more kind. I thought he was a nice guy, he'd say kind. I thought he was a nice guy, I like being a nice guy. 
I think some of the, you know, if I had 25 cents and you need a nickel, I'll give you a nickel, I'll give you a dime. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I, I, that's not just generosity. I just, I, that's just what I feel. I just, life is easier when we're nice to each other. When we're good to each other. And, we, and we're not always thinking that someone's trying to find advantage. We're not always trying to find advantage over someone else. We're not trying to put someone down to, to, to build us up. I talked to my daughter who's 21, she'll be 21 in a couple of weeks. And I was, I'm writing a speech for something and I, I wanted to touch on, on a millennial point of view. And I said, what, what, what does it make millennials different? And she said, we mostly want to build, we don't want to tear down. And that's astounding. That's really, if more people thought that way, we just want to build, we don't want to tear down. Well, all this adds up to kindness, but I just, I just see in other people potential that maybe they don't see. That's another act of kindness to say, I can do this. See what I mean, y'all? How sincere he sounds like, how kind he is. He don't want to tear people down. He wants to build them up. And I like he's trying to get the millennial point of view on things. So he has, you know, his daughter and other children, if he have other children, to help him through that, to help him understand. And I just love it. I love it. It's just so hurtful, to see, you know, it, it hurts to see him like that. Regardless of how strong he is, how focused he is, it's hard to see Michael J. Fox like that. You're so used to him running around on movies and jumping and throwing himself, at, you know, and fighting. And that's what my, Michael J. Fox I love. <sighs> that I'm used to. Let me reframe that. I'm sorry, what I'm used to. And I hope they can find a cure one day. But until then, you know, let's keep up the fight, Michael. Keep going. You know, we're here for you. We're here to support you, my man. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think of my, Michael J. Fox. And I'm going to continue to, you know, uh, talk about Michael J. Fox over time. From here, it ain't going to always be about videos and music and all that shit and movies. Sometimes you got to talk about serious issues that's going on around the world. A lot of people don't like to listen, and I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. So, as always, thank y'all for tuning in. And y'all already know, peace, love, and deuces. And thank you, Michael J. Fox.